Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to another video. So I'd like to start this video by apologizing to all my subscribers for not uploading any video for the past one year. I've been a bit busy with other things with my full-time job and everything. But now I'll try and do my best to make as many videos as possible. So today we're looking at this uh, problem that has been in MIUI ever since, which is that you cannot use a full screen gesture with any third party launchers. So I've already made uh, two videos on this uh, topic and every time I make a video, it seems that Xiaomi release an update that just makes that method not usable anymore. So this is the final method that I'm going to share with you today. And actually this method is going to work for any devices, be it MIUI 11, 12, 13, 14 or Poco devices or the new latest uh, HyperOS devices. So as you can see right now, I'm running HyperOS and I'll be showing you this method on HyperOS as well as on a Poco device. Right now I'm in my stock launcher. If you're on upgraded version of MIUI like uh, 12, 13 or 14, you'll know that uh, Xiaomi has completely removed this setting to set uh, the third party launcher from these settings. As you can see, there is no option to select any third party launcher. So in my previous video, I shared a method that uh, would allow you to select third party launcher and set the full screen gesture from the settings. But in this video, it's going to be a bit different. So as you can see that I'm on my full screen gesture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Nova launcher as my default launcher. This is one more annoying thing that happens in the stock launcher. I don't know if you guys face this problem. So I'll select Nova launcher. I'll just long tap on it click on settings and from here I can select Nova launcher as my default launcher but as soon as I do that you can see that I get the navigation gestures back and now what we can do is that we can select the full screen gesture again that's not a big deal right so we'll just go to the settings and from here we'll select gesture and this is the problem that we're facing that it doesn't allow you to select full screen gesture while you're on a third party launcher. So it'll ask you to switch back to the system launcher. So we'll just tap on OK. And we're back to the system launcher. So in my previous video, I shared a method where it will not give you any warning to switch back to the system launcher. It'll just enable the gesture, but the gestures will not actually work and you're going to have to rely on a third party gesture. So this method will actually allow you to use a Nova Launcher and the system's gesture. So you don't have to rely on any third party gestures. You'll be able to use the system gesture with the Nova Launcher or any other launcher that you want to use as your default launcher. So we'll keep the system launcher as our default launcher and we'll have the full screen gesture selected. With that, what you need is you need to download this application called Edge Gesture. You'll find the link for this application in the description. You can also download it from Play Store. I've already given a link in the description that will allow you to directly download it. And uh, it's not just limited to this application. You can actually use any gesture application like Fluid Gesture or this application called Gesture Bar. So the method will stay the same. So you just need to download this application once you download this application, I'll ask you to allow the accessibility settings and the draw over other applications permission. So you just need to allow those permissions. Once you do that, the first thing I'd like you to do is uh, tap on, tap and hold on it and then go to the app info. And from here, just select battery saver as no restriction. That will not kill the application if you're not using it for a while. Now open the gesture application. We don't actually need this left and right gesture, so we'll just disable it. We'll go to the common settings and from here, you have the settings to set uh, this bar. Or you can also do that from here. You can just tap on override and you'll get the configuration to set, uh, select the bar. So we just need the bottom bar and I have already configured it, uh, so I'll just keep the thickness to 20 which is good enough and the length I'll keep as 30 the offset will be 0 and I have set this uh, 
offset from the bottom a bit upward instead of zero so it's not actually zero i'm going to keep it to 30 maybe 20 if you like but don't make it too far from the bottom because then it'll interrupt the touch beneath that bar so i'll just keep it at 30. if you do not get this bar from here you can turn on the bar setting from here so you get a bar like this you can change the color from here and a few more thing you can do is that you can set the haptic feedback from here and if you have just downloaded the application this visual effect will be enabled and this show icon will be enabled so you can disable all this or you can use it as per your liking you'll also get all these uh, settings that you can set as per your liking i'm just going to show you the actual method that we're using So we just need to select our swipe up gesture so tap on swipe up and now from here instead of selecting home like when we swipe up we go to the home instead of selecting home what we need is that we need to tap on application and from here you can select your third party launcher that you want to select as the default launcher so in my case that's nova launcher i'll just select nova launcher from the list and that's it we're done as you can see that my back gesture is working with the system launcher i can swipe up for the recent app tray. i can even swipe left and right to switch the applications so everything works as it is now when i want to go to the home screen what we need is just simply swipe up and that's it we're in our third party launcher the Nova launcher now I don't want this part so I'll just disable this bar from here I'll just set the transparency to zero and that's it so we can use everything we can use our recent apps tray and we we need to go to the home we just swipe up a bit upward so after using it for a while you'll get used to it and a few more things that you might want to do is that uh, when you have the gesture at the bottom you might misclick it or when you swipe up you might actually be swiping up from the gesture that you have set so in that case what you can do is that you can set to swipe up and hold action as well so just set it as recent apps so when you misclick it you'll still be able to use the recent apps tray right and a few more thing is that uh, you can set just keep the edge gesture locked so that it doesn't uh, disappear from a recent apps tray or it doesn't get killed and uh, apart from that you can also add it to the control center so you can easily disable or enable it if it gets disabled you can easily enable it from here and this uh, another thing that i'd like to share with you is that i faced this uh, issue on this uh, particular hyper os that when i swipe up in the nova launcher this is the recent app tray that i get so this issue is only in hyper os i guess because i'm not facing this issue in poco device or any other miui device so you might or might not face this issue but this is only when using the recent app tray when launching the recent app tray from the nova launcher if i had launched the recent app tray from any other application it, there is no problem but when i launch the recent app tray from nova launcher This is the kind of recent app tray that I get and I also face some issues swiping up and swiping left and right from the Nova Launcher. So this is what's happening in Nova Launcher. This is only in Nova Launcher. But you might not face this issue in other devices. Uh, maybe it's because of the Hyper OS update. And I'll also show you the same thing in this uh, Poco device that I have got. So as I, you can see this is a poco device
and I can simply just swipe up and I'm in the Nova launcher. So I'm not facing this issue in Poco device. As you can see, I can easily just swipe up and hold and go to the recent app straight. There's no problem in here. Be it uh, even if I launch it from Nova launcher, I can use it without any problem. So that's it. That's how you can use a full screen gesture with Nova launcher or any third party application or any third party launcher. So I hope you like this video. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe the channel. And I'll try and make as more videos as possible from now on. So just uh, support and subscribe. Thank you.